Goddess Saraswati is the mother of all uh, arts. So, when Goddess Saraswati is playing Veena in front of Parashakti, praising the Lord Shiva's qualities, so while listening to Mother is always fond of Lord Shiva's, fond of listening to Lord Shiva's qualities. She is very much fond of, fond of listening to that. Then when Goddess Saraswati started praising him with a great intonation uh, on Veena, so she was uh, you know engrossed in that uh, in that play. So in between, when she was, you know, even when we engrossed, engrossed with uh, someone's performance, we nod our head like this. Because uh, accepting their performance and uh, comprehending that, we, we do that. So while doing so, when she says, wow, excellent, good, superb, so then she talks like this all of a sudden goddess Saraswati is embraced because she get embraced because her mother's voice mother's beautiful sweet voice is more sweeter than Veena So, by embracing with her voice, Mother Goddess felt very bad and she immediately covered her Veena. Because her Veena, with so much of effort, she is able to deliver some good song, uh, good song that is nowhere in front of Mother's uh, tone. Her tone is itself giving a beautiful, you know, mesmerizing. Uh, it is taken to the next level. So, immediately Mother Saraswati covered her Veda. So, what Shankara mean to say is that Mother's voice is very mesmerizing. If you get a chance to listen to Mother's voice, what else you want? By how much penance, how much tapasya, how much sadhana, practice, we can contem contemplate on mother and how can we listen to her? Only in trance, only in meditation. So once you listen to that, nothing is equal, equal in front of that. That's what Shankaracharya is trying to say. 